Hello everybody and welcome to another online lesson at Match Point Language School. I'm Teacher Gabby and today we are going to learn about conjunctions. Are you ready? Let's go! So, let's see what conjunctions are. A conjunction is a word that joins together words, phrases or parts of sentences. Let's see some examples. The three most used conjunctions are and, or and but. These are the three most used conjunctions in English. Let's see some examples. I went home and ate lunch. The water was warm, but I didn't go swimming. Let's learn more about conjunctions. Hi, it is I, Marvin Turbin, Dr. Grammar. And the doctor is in. Today our subject is conjunctions. Conjunctions are like glue because they hold our language together. A conjunction is a word that joins words, phrases, or clauses together. For instance, without any conjunctions, there would be no boys and girls in this world. Mm -hmm. Just boys, girls. That'd be confusing. And without conjunctions, there would be no surprises in stories. You couldn't say, she was only three feet tall, but she still slew the dragon. The conjunction but gives us that surprise, something unexpected. And at a barbecue, you wouldn't have a choice of a hot dog or hamburger. Just a hot dog hamburger. You'd have to eat both. Well, that's too many calories. And, but, or are the three most popular conjunctions in English. They're conjunction superstars. Try getting through one day or even one hour without using and, but, and or. Bet you can't do it. And there are plenty of other conjunctions that you use every day without even realizing it. Here are just some of them. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good one, yeah. Oh, I, I use that one a lot. Mm, very popular, very, very popular. Oh, I see that in books a lot. Yes, that's another good one. Oh, those are great conjunctions. Now, here is a nice little story. He and I wanted to picnic, although it was raining. So we went to the park. We kept eating while it was pouring because we'd lose our table if we left. The sandwiches were mushy, but good. Now, without conjunctions, nothing would hold the words together. Our language would just fall apart. So thanks, conjunctions, for holding things together so nicely. Oh, that's much better. You guys gotta stick together. Now I have to go and do some stuff, but I'll be back, or I'll miss my dinner. See, nobody functions without conjunctions. That's it for now from Marvin Turbin, Dr. Brammer. So, as Dr. Grandma has just said, nobody can function without conjunction. So, let's learn a little bit more about them. Here we are going to learn about the functions. Conjunctions have mainly two functions. So, if they join equal parts of a sentence, they are 
coordinating conjunctions. They always come between the words and clauses that they join. Let's see some examples. Jack and Jill went up the hill. And is a coordinating conjunction. The water was warm, but I didn't go swimming. But is also a coordinating conjunction. Let's see subordinating conjunctions. These conjunctions join subordinate clauses to a main clause. It means that the subordinate clause depends on the main clause. So we usually find these conjunctions at the beginning of the subordinate clause. Let's see an example. I went swimming although it was cold. Although is a subordinate conjunction and it is at the beginning of the subordinate clause. Let's keep learning. Conjunctions have three basic forms. They can be single word, they can be compound or they can be correlative. Now let's look at each one of them. Single word conjunctions are and, but, because, although, or, etc. It is just one word. Let's see an example. Do you want chips or cake? Or is just a single word conjunction. Now, if we look at compound conjunctions, we are going to see that they have more words. For example, provided that, as long as, in order that, in order to, etc. Let's see an example. You need to exercise in order to lose weight. Here, in order to, we've got three words. That's why it is a compound conjunction. And the last one is correlative. Correlative conjunctions need two parts to function. For example, both m and m, either m or m, neither m nor m, not m but, not only m but also. Let's take a look at some examples. Either Monday or Tuesday is fine. Not only should you eat fruit, but also vegetables. See, in these cases, we need these two words to function in the middle of the structure. Okay? Let's practice. Write down the date on your notebook. Go to page 73 on your book and write the date at the top of it. Then copy the green box on your notebook and do exercise 1. Don't forget that you may use each conjunction only once. Remember, if you need to, you can pause this video. After you have finished, let's answer some of the following questions on your notebook. Please copy them on your notebook and then answer them. Number one, 
Who was Grace Darling? Number two. Who was William? Number three. What did Grace and William do in 1838? And number four. What did Grace win for her bravery? We would like to say thanks to Scholastic, Kidal, Vocabulary Spelling, City and FreePick for helping us make this video. So, that's all for now. Good job, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.